welcome back to my spring break vlogs this is london part two in this episode we continue being tacky tourist uh, but we also find a secret alice in wonderland inspired garden visit some beautiful museums have the best fits and chips ever go to the iconic harrods mall and even get stuck in a train strike but still find a way to make it to dinner all the smiles in this vlog make me realize how much I enjoyed London. I just finished my tea. I've never been so full. Good thing we're going to a walk. I need to digest my food. It's just like I couldn't let any of it waste. After finishing up my afternoon tea, I headed to our designated photo spot near Big Ben in the London Eye. But I got a little sidetracked because London decided to gift the most beautiful sunset that night. The gold-colored clouds and the light bouncing off the walls of buildings was amazing, and I pretty much stood and watched for a while. So since this is my first time in London, I wish I knew a local, and like I'd ask a whole bunch of questions. And the first question I asked is, how do I get it? from the Heathrow Airport into the city without a two hour drive. We had some trouble getting in to the city yesterday. It took like two hours to drive. So I feel like we haven't had much time and it's already end of day two. And we only have three days. Once we met up on the bridge, we joked around in front of Big Ben. The London Eye and Big Ben looked stunning at night and reminded me of Peter Pan. And because we were having way too much fun, we then played around at the telephone booth a bit more, making fake phone calls. After all our shenanigans, we headed on our way to Notting Hill for dinner at a uh, uh which was this cool wine bar with twinkly fairy lights. Uh, we just shared some charcuterie because we were so full from all the tea earlier. Hey, tell me what you just saw. This Domino's <laughs> motorcycle just flew over the this fucking speed bump. The pizza hit the top of the container. <laughs> and where you're facing me. <laughs> So, where are we going? Going to the the Kutu Lodge. <laughs> the Kutu Lodge. The Court Lodge. Kutu Lodge. Kutu Lodge. The next morning, on our way to the museums, we discovered so a hidden cute. courtyard and garden along the way. It was very prep school vibe, but also whimsical. It was really nice to explore somewhere so quiet and hidden from London's typical hustle and bustle. All the red roses reminded us of Alice in Wonderland, which the whole city seemed to be reiterating to us in different things like fountains and a white rabbit we saw. We're a maze, a fountain, and the roses. And then you're- Eventually, we finally arrived at the Courtauld Gallery, which is the word I was having a laugh about trying to pronounce earlier. Uh, we randomly came across this museum, which was definitely a hidden gem. They had such an amazing Impressionism collection, with plenty of Renoir, Cezanne, Van Gogh, and Degas. The bright blue spiral staircase was also a work of art in itself. Head into our second museum, the National Gallery. It was a lot bigger and more touristy, but they still had an amazing Monet water lily and a lot of other great impressionist pieces. The 
Mr. Goss was my favorite artwork I saw in London. I loved the unfinished blank canvas. After doing some shopping at the museum gift shop, we listened to a street performer while we walked. We eventually got really hungry and were craving fish and chips, so we went to the Mayfair area to try the Mayfair chippy, which we found on TikTok. This was by far our best meal in London. The place was so cute with its mismatched tiled tables and the fish, fries, and spicy mayo were insane. We still talk about this meal. It was the best. Mm -hmm. There were the cutest British, two British guys, old British guys sitting across from us. And they were just so cute. Can't get over the accents. I know it's sad, but trying not to fall asleep at this point since we all feel like Garfield the cat after he uses some lasagna and just wants to take a nap but we have a London to see try the scotchy these are talking about the Florence Pugh video where she tries all the different English foods so we wanted to recreate that on the strip so scotchy was on my list at that done it was very good I like it so it was a nice variation with the crust and yeah, we're very full. We're gonna walk it off. Maybe explore Soho, maybe go up to Notting Hill. Yeah. Ready. Ready. So do English guys dress well? <laughs> dress. After stuffing our faces, we walked to Hyde Park and eventually arrived at the world famous Harrods department store, which we felt like we were obligated to see. Although I didn't purchase anything, it was still so fun to wander the floors, admiring the different clothes. I really enjoyed the evening wear section because it had some really fun, roughly colorful dresses. It would have been the perfect prom dress shopping destination. After Harrods, it started to rain and got a little chilly, so we relaxed inside a cafe until trying to head to dinner. It was a little chaotic since a train strike prevented people from using the tube, and long story short, we had to take a taxi and were almost two hours late to our dinner reservation. Hey guys, you propped up on a few rolls of toilet paper right now, but we finally made it to the restaurant. We were stuck in our cab for an hour because of the train strikes. But it's okay, we finally got here, finally got to pee, and now we finally get to eat. Very excited, we're at this like cool underground place, so. Our last dinner in London was at Andrew Edmonds, which was this underground restaurant slash bar that had an amazing vibe with its emerald green walls and candle lighting. I got some soup and beef stew to warm up, which were both delicious and a great end to our time in London. Thanks for sticking around till the end. I hope you enjoyed my little trip to London as much as I did. Cheers.